Oh, this is a beautiful look. I think Dawn looks fantastic. I just want to give her mouth a little bit of attention. So I'm going to start with, and always check it out and test it on your hand. You don't always have to, but I do. Because I end up grabbing many, many colors and blending them. And I want to go a little bit into the browner color on Dawn because I kind of like this beachy, beachy girl look that I'm getting. Oh. You know, just a little bit of that kind of a thing. Let me see. Fun. Ah, oh, love that. Yeah. Something that is, isn't too red or pink or orange. You know. That is pretty. That is beautiful. I love Dawn. The bottom of her bottom lip is always, it's puffy. her its her puffy pouty. <laughs> uh, re, uh, re, rest it though. Give me a little bit more resting smile. That's nice. And it's always had that big sort of round pout to it. Although my lips have gotten thinner as I've aged, but you know, still work with it. <laughs> well, you've always had a, a little bit more of a minor top lip to the bottom yeah. lip, which was part of what her characteristic was. You could look at Dawn and you, you almost just knew it was her, no matter how much they tried to yeah. put makeup that you couldn't even see her anymore. You always knew it was her mouth. She was definitely has a very specific, which I think, as far as beginning to appreciate how beautiful you are, if, you, if your lips are uneven, if they're, you know, this is part of what the character in your face um, I think it's more about color and highlight and shadow than it is about re-creating uh, the shapes in your face. Mm. Um, that's what I'd like to say, no matter how much you add to color and shine and, and highlight and, you know, blush, contour, lips, <laughs> eyeshadow, <laughs> eyebrow, no matter how much you add to that, you work with the shapes of your face, let's not try to be transformative, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, I so, always say God makes no mistakes. God makes no mistakes. But you well, have he, to certain, it. he so certainly beautiful. didn't with you, my dear. Mm -hmm. Well, give me a little space. I'm going to go just underneath. And I'm really going to just, this is just color. This is nothing more than color. It's not like laying a big layer of lipstick on her lips. It's just adding a little bit of color. If you want to strengthen the line around your mouth, or if you have uh, lines around your mouth, and a lot of times when you do lipstick, it, it runs into the lips, into the, into the skin around the That's best dealt with by using a pencil. But with Dawn, I'm just adding a little color that I've mixed up on my, on my hand to just fill out the color in the topic. Now close and give me a light smile. And I think lips and eyebrows, honestly, lips and eyebrows, that's where all the expression mm. in the face, you're really able to maintain the uh, integrity of the expression if you don't try to overdraw the lips or the eyebrows. Um, young girls are doing a lot of it though. And, and you know, we've got a whole generation that's wearing mo more makeup than you ever did in the 80s. Yeah, Am I right? right? Those YouTube videos, oh my God. So just to keep things moist and, you know, even though I don't really think it needs it, but it's just gonna add more of that. See that sort of bronzy brown kind of, you know, beach girl color. If you want to add any definition to the mouth, use a very, very, uh, th then always use uh, a pencil. Um, MAC pencils are really good, ladies. The MAC lip pencil is really, really good and they have an incredible amount of shades. Anywhere from bright, colorful to really like, I mean, they must have seven or eight that are just neutrals of all si uh, shapes and sizes. I'm just going to glide that a little bit there just to kind of fill that shape. I'm not making, I'm not extending, I'm not changing the shape. I'm just 
it's just a great tool to kind of finish the way the line takes on the top or even just a little bit underneath, you know, just finishing that off. Now let me get under here and see what I've got. Yeah, I'm going to just take a little bit more to here. Just to, f just to finish the shape out. A lot, of, a lot of you gals out there are like, my, my, I don't have my beautiful young lips anymore. This is a technique to kind of honor the shape of the lips without overdoing it, but not underdoing yeah. it. Not yeah. being afraid of using cosmetics to make you feel pretty. Like if, if you liked your lips a little fuller, then go ahead and use some cosmetics to but, do but, that. But don't like overdraw or over try to, because you said to me once, you said, I knew when Dawn Gallagher was walking yeah. in because she has a fuller lid. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to her lips. Are, her lips are uneven. Her, the expression of her face yeah. is uneven, but it's actually her character. It's, it's all part it's of what characterizes. It's part of who I am. Yeah. So you never overdraw the lip to no. make me look like mm -hmm. a different. Um, it's about just. Just enhancing my, you know, I have I have a thinner upper lip and a fuller lower lip, and just enhance that. You don't have to overdraw it or make it something different than you're than you're not, right? Just keep honoring the original. You honor the original. That's what I like. So speaking of honoring the original, yes. let's see if we can't just look down. Don't close. Let's see if we can't just add a tiny bit of pencil to that corner. Again, in a very beachy, bronzy shade, just to pop the blue. Love that. I think that looks really nice. And we're going to do this a little bit as we go. This is just a, a you know, it's a, co a coppery brown pencil by Matt called Teddy. I've, it's been around for decades and I absolutely love it. And you always want to go back with just a little brush and a little bit of a matching shade of shadow, you know, and just do a tiny bit. Here's a little bit of copper. I'm mixing a little bit of the browns and the coppers together. Ba hit that thing so you don't have a lot of color on there. And just brush over that. And what this should do is just finish, finish the eye. You can even go a little bit underneath. Look up. I'm just gonna throw a little bit just to give it a little in pop. the corner. Right? We'll give it a little just bit a little bit of a pop, yeah. Look up. Love that. So you can see the difference. Let me see. Yeah, it, well, I mean, it, it, it's hard to the naked eye, but don't close, just look down. This is any kind of copper, red. This is really good for your blue and green, uh, green eyes. Look, yeah. The thing about choosing a shadow for eyes really depends on the color of the eyes. There's so many things you can do, but don't be afraid if you have brown eyes, you don't have to use bright colors around that to bring them out. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that if you use a brown, You've got a brown that's got a lot of red in it. I love that with brown eyes. I think it's important. And what does that do? The red just kind of makes it. It well, the, I find that the, the blue? sometimes brown on brown eyes tends to get very flat looking. Right. So the red brings if there's green in the eyes, it'll bring green out. Um, if blue. there, yeah, if there if there's any. Well, no, if there's mm -hmm. green in the brown. Yeah. Okay. So, um, which there are a lot of times there is. You have your hazel eyes. Hazel eyes with red eyeshadow has an amazing effect. It oh, just gorgeous. all of a sudden the eyes yeah. turn more green than they were before. Okay, let's get going. All right.